Melissa, who just finished her eight week challenge. Um, how did you, did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun. Okay. Was, <laughs> no, I hated it. <laughs> All right, so, cut the tape. All right, so uh, what was your favorite part about the eight week challenge? I think it's been, like, a, it's been a lot of fun to slowly, like, ease into everything because I think it was nice to start on my own and not really, like, get my feet on the ground with you guys and then slowly ease into the, like, the group classes because that way I didn't feel quite so intimidated to just drop in and be a Chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> so, so you like started with personal like training and then yeah. easing your way into classes? It made it a little less daunting. Awesome to do it that way. Awesome. What was your so when did you start to feel like like some change? So probably in the last couple weeks. Like I think more so in the last like two, maybe three weeks. The first few had a lot more just trying to learn and not, you know, drop weights on my face. <laughs> so. uh, what, was your, what was your favorite change over the eight weeks? So we, we saw some, some number changes, right? So we lost inches, we gained some muscle mass, we lost body fat percentage, we shaved four minutes off our time, so we did a workout when we get started, a workout at the end. Outside of that, maybe, what other changes did you see with yourself? I think I just feel a lot better. I think I, like, have a lot more energy during the day I'm sleeping a lot better so like I think that change might be my favorite like yeah the inches are nice it's pretty dope that like there's four minutes gone but like the, to just feel better was all I really wanted so for that to be a, an outcome is like it's worth it top of the list. okay and I didn't ask to start the video off but <laughs> what what caused you to want to try this out I, I think because I went from being college and grad school and walking a mile to class back and forth all the time and being moved, like consistently moving all the time and running around and having a consistent group to work out with and things like that to being sedentary and in an office I needed a new routine that kind of would get me out of a rut in, the, in that kind of a way you know like so it was a, it was a, a way to kind of have a new routine that worked with a work life yeah. <laughs> schedule and you know, trying to find something that works and clearly it does if there's that much of a change in two months it's crazy. Do you so. uh when you started I think that you had different goals for yourself coming in. Now that you've gone through class, if you've gone through personal training, all that good stuff, is there a new goal maybe that you have like um that you now see and you think, okay, this is attainable or I could actually do this? Is there any new goals you're gonna set for yourself for the next 30 days or the next 90 days? I don't know if there's any one specific. I have no idea. That's okay. I always like to ask, because maybe yeah. there's something like, some people say a double under, maybe some people say, you know, perfecting my push-up. I wasn't sure if there's something that really stands out or just continue to work and improve. Definitely still work and improve on those, because I feel like the, a lot of those I like still can't do, but they've gotten better. So they're goals that I've had, but I haven't fully Working towards them. So yeah. like, I feel like my goals are still chipping away rather awesome. than like <laughs> full on finish. That's all right. So, it, it, yeah, there's no new, no new ones. Okay. <laughs> and in terms of uh, if there's somebody at home sitting and thinking about like maybe getting started here at CrossFit Jungle Gym or trying this challenge and maybe they're looking, you know, what, what, what would you say to them? Would you say go for it? Would you say it's not, don't do it, stay at home, sit on the couch, <laughs> watch the good people? Well, what would you, <laughs> what would your advice be? Um, I guess just to like don't let your own personal inhibitions get in the way of it. Like, because it's easy to be like to chicken and be like, ah, well, I don't know anyone there, so I'm not going to go. Or, I, I don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to go. Like, no, I've never done overhead squats or anything like that before in my life, but you guys have such a positive atmosphere here that it, it makes it so that it's, it, you're not terrified to come and, and try things, which is huge. I mean, to have that kind of welcoming environment is, is everything you can ask. All right, so my last question. People always say CrossFit <laughs> isn't for everybody when you led me to it, or it's super intimidating. <laughs> Did you feel like we were monsters, or, or do you do you feel like this is an intimidating? <laughs> yeah, you're all awful. <laughs> do you feel like, like it's an intimidating environment to get no. started? Like if you came no. in here and your fitness level, you're like I'm at a zero. Do you feel like somebody who's at a zero fitness level could come in, feel Absolutely. welcomed? Absolutely. Like that that wouldn't worry me at all. Cool. Lastly, is there anything that you want to add that I didn't give you an opportunity to share? Totally. All right. Boom. Done. <laughs>